Welcome to our Devos this week where we have brand new content dealing with one of the things that many of us struggle with, and that is prayer. And the subject of this week's Devos is a better way to pray. Now, when you hear that, what you might think is that that means that I'm going to give you some different tricks and tips on how to pray deeper, how to pray, you know, more specific things. And I'm actually not going to do that. What I mean by a better way to pray is a better way that's going to get you to pray more. I, I, I don't know who it was. It might have been A.W. Tozer. It might have been Martin Luther. I can't think offhand who, which one it was. Not that we were friends. I was like, hey, A.W. Tozer. Hey, Martin Luther. Like, we weren't sitting around one day talking. But I remember reading a quote from them, one of them, that said, the best way to practice praying is to pray. And the answer to prayer is often more prayer. And so, the best way, the better way to pray is going to be by praying more. So what we're going to do is I'm going to ask you some questions. If your prayer life right now is not what you want it to be, if you're like, I should be praying more, I'm going to ask you some questions and see if this helps you to think about prayer in a different way. So the first question is, how do I talk to other people? So when we look at the idea of prayer, one of the things that we forget is prayer is simply a conversation with God. It's a conversation with God. That, 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 that's, there's nothing bigger than that. I mean, there's nothing more to the definition than that. Of course, we're, it's a big idea. But a lot of times we make prayer, like we're so afraid to pray because we don't know that we're going to do it right, right? So like, we're like, okay, well, you know, what do I do? I got to make sure I'm going to sit here and have my notes. I'm going to pray this. I'll pray about this. I'll do this. I'll do that. I'll do this. And we're really missing out on the definition of prayer. It's a conversation. Now, when I say it's a conversation, I mean just that. There has to be something that's genuine and natural about it, or you're probably doing it wrong. Now, again, I'm not saying you go to God with informality and be like, hey, what's up, Lord? I'm just coming to you today, and I, I don't care what's going on. Like, I, I'm not saying that you'd be flippant about it, but what I'm saying is you have to keep in mind that it's a conversation. And you also have to keep in mind that if you've trusted in Jesus, you have a relationship with the living God. It's not like you are a stranger approaching God, but the Bible calls us friends of God. The Bible says that we're children of God. Does that make sense? So the way I'm going to kind of unpackage this is look at what it says in uh, Exodus chapter 33. Now Moses was known for communicating with God. And it says, thus the Lord used to speak to Moses face to face as a man speaks to his friend. So when we see this idea, now remember Moses, you know, the, he's encountering God in a very, very supernatural way. So if anyone has reservation about how they're going to approach and talk to God, it will be Moses, right? I mean, for crying out loud, like God appears and, you know, annihilates half of the nation because of evil practices they're doing, but Moses still is able to speak to him. Why? Because the conversation was at the heart of it, because the relationship part was at the heart of it, and that is what's going to keep you praying. So when you sit down to pray, think about, I'm having a conversation. I'm having a conversation with a friend. I'm having a respectful conversation with someone who loves me. It's a conversation, so treat it that way, and it'll be a better way for you to pray more. 